Nodia says he read about Agat's alleged assault in a newspaper, but denied being involved in the torture of any detainee. The apartheid security police claim that Agat committed suicide. There are no other detainees than Ms. Hogan, Ms. Floyd and Dr. Agat who can say Captain Nodia took them and interrogated them for X amount of time, etc., etc., etc. I haven't got possession, I haven't got my diary covering those periods. He claims as an outsider to the John Foster Square police station, he had not been exposed to the incidents where the detainees were tortured. Question is, have you ever had, whether from your colleagues or from whatever source that a detainee was, was tortured? There was, there was always, like in, in this case, there will always be the, the accusations as far as that is concerned, my Lord. It will always be there. In this case, if this question was, was asked to me in 1983, I would have said no, because I wasn't aware of it. Now the question is being asked to me. The answer is now yes. Nordia further claims that he was never given access to any intelligence reports gathered on Dr. Agat. Instead, after Nordia's departure, Neil was handed over to Lieutenant Stephen Peter Whitehead for interrogation. Whitehead was 26 years old, an ambitious graduate of the officer's course who wanted to prove himself. He vowed to extract a confession from the man he believed to be a communist and an ANC member. There were certain uh, uh, ANC literature found at the time when Dr. Agat was arrested. They didn't even provide me with that. They never gave me access to intelligence reports. I, I think I think they were afraid maybe I'll make a mistake and I'll, I'll compromise sources. The inquiry continues. Nozindor Mimia, SABC News, Johannesburg.